Sky walks, sky walks into a Okay, go. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Balloon walks into a bar. Go. Anyways, uh, so it had nothing to do with water monitoring <laughs> at all. Thank you, Heather. Um, but we partnered with um, iLand, iLab, um, which is a dance consortium that's interested in looking at incorporating movement and dance with the scientific process and scientific projects, which is pretty interesting. Um, and so we went to Union Square where they're doing, um, they're starting the Occupy protest again, um, and did aerial mapping looking at use of space um, and how dancers would integrate with crowd and participants. And thank you, Tom and Ed and Heather, for coming out and participating. Nice I was, familiar yeah. faces, that was really it was, it was way cool. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, but wait, can you just tell us what, how balloon mapping was used in, wa in Gowanus? Because I think it is related yeah. to water. Um, and so where we're going tomorrow is um, the New York site the public lab works at, the Gowanus Canal. And, um, They've been using aerial mapping to monitor uh, the canal, which is a designated EPA Superfund site, um, to look at potential outflows that were not um, noted on the original Superfund map, um, and a number of other things. Um, so, you, so they're using balloon things. mapping to find the CSOs that we're trying to yeah. censor up. I think the other portion of it is that if, if we can connect Patch Bay and Pub Lab's work with Ushahidi's work and citizen data, that's a win. So just trying to figure out and understand, having us all together to understand what each other is working yes. on, that's a starting point, right? So water, you worked with the Gulf oil spill, now you work with Guanas, we have water mappers. There's stuff to happen, for sure. Awesome. <laughs> okay.